the Templewood South Circle. A short walk from the Neolithic Nether Largy South Cairn is the two Templewood Circles. Templewood South is probably the best known site in the prehistoric complex at Comartin Glen. The Northern Circle and the South Circle are just a few metres apart. Templewood is also known as Half Moonwood. Both the cairns have a complex history. The South Circle was added after the North Circle. Our prehistoric ancestors revered this site for nearly two millennia. The site changed as rituals and beliefs changed through antiquity. 5,000 years ago, the original stone circle of 22 standing stones was erected. In the present day, 13 survive, with the highest being 1.6 metres. Our Neolithic and Bronze Age ancestors would likely congregate in these sacred spaces to witness key solar and lunar events, and probably more, which is long forgotten. Around 4,000 years ago, two cairns were placed outside the circle. The interior may have been sacred space. The cairns were curbed with a flat top and a stone kist. The kist on the southwest arc held a child's body. Another kist in the northeast section held the remains of an adult. 3,700 years ago, slabs were added to fill spaces between the standing stones and an outer bank was added. Carved into the northernmost stone is a faint concentric circle and double spiral. The double spiral is reminiscent of a rock carving at the nearby Achnabrek and resembles a geospiral design. When the lower spiral was hidden by cairn material from the outer bank, a new spiral was created further up the standing stone. This design has similarities on Orkney and Ireland's passage tombs. Between 3,400 and 3,200 years ago, the cairn in the centre was built and another smaller cairn was constructed between the central cairn and stone circle. After this latest addition was added, both cairns were covered over with stones and another cremation was added. Peat begun to blanket the area. Stones in the East Arc were removed for various reasons. One stone was being shaped into a millstone and broke. This is still in its original position. During the 1800s, when agricultural improvements were taking place, field stones were dumped into the circle. It was at this stage that Templewood was reconstructed. In the 1970s, Jack Scott excavated. In one grave, no human remains were found. However, phosphate level analysis revealed the position of a decayed body. Artifacts which were found was a decorated beaker pot, three arrowheads made of flint and a scraper. Another grave revealed a tooth from a four to six year old child. In the late 1700s, a hoard of medieval coins were found inside the circle. Colmartin's historical interest grew in the 1800s and local landowner John Malcolm supported the excavation of many sites which were excavated by his family minister, Reverend Reginald Mapleton. <laughs>